Floatable trash in streams, rivers, and oceans is a growing worldwide problem. As a part of a feasibility study, Lexmark International of Lexington, Kentucky wanted to install a system to collect floatable trash from the Cane Run stream which flows across their property. The concept of the trash collection system, known as OSCAR, was originally designed and tested by an undergraduate senior design team of the University of Kentucky's Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering Department. The work of the team inspired the creation of a quarter-scale prototype, which would justify the funding needed to construct the full-scale system. The design of the prototype was supported by a team put together to provide engineering services for the feasibility study. The team includes EcoGrow, Bridgewater, Stantec Consulting Services, Stormwater Systems, and Lexington Fayette Urban County Government Division of Water Quality. The prototype was built in the hydraulics lab of the Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering Department. The water entered the flume from a 1 CFS pump through 6 inch PVC pipe. A series of baffles at the head of the flume dissipated energy to promote uniform flow. One of the key components of the design is the use of the Bandalong Boom System by Stormwater Systems. The boom in our prototype was a quarter scale boom designed specifically for our research. The boom is made up of multiple sections which allow it to adjust with the changing elevations of the water surface. For our prototype, we also attached a weighted geotextile curtain to catch trash suspended just below the water surface. The boom is attached to a post on the upstream bank with rollers so they can adjust with the changes in the water surface elevation. The downstream end is attached the same way. The downstream post, however, is connected to the front of the litter trap. The litter trap is made up of a clear opening on the upstream side. The side running parallel to the flow is screened to allow water to flow through, yet keep trash contained. The pipe in the back of the trap will allow water carrying debris to pass through to a secondary trash filter. As you can see, the boom redirects the flow direction of the water surface. Due to the narrowing flow area seen by the surface water, a higher velocity is created in the direction of the litter trap opening, thus providing the system with enough energy to direct floatable trash where we want it. Here is an example of a test with various trash objects. Trash objects included bottles of multiple sizes, plastic marbles, plastic bags, sticks, and leaves. As you can see, some of the less buoyant objects were able to escape under the boom. However, from our results, 70 to 90 percent of the trash objects were caught in the various flow depths and velocities we tested. As you can see from this graph, the performance of our quarter scale model justifies the potential of a full scale urban trash collection system, which would filter floatable trash from our waterways, promoting healthier and more aesthetically pleasing streams. Like what you see? Be sure to check out other interesting projects going on at the University of Kentucky's Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering Department.